It's time to record what plants survive the winter. We'll do this by identifying plants that are showing signs of regrowth with new green leaves emerging. And the plants have yet to appear here out in the field in Salina, Kansas. So I'm currently in the perennial wheat greenhouse where you can see the plants growing behind me. This is where scientists make crosses between species like the perennial wheat you have growing in your plot, crossing intermediate wheat grass with durum wheat. This observation is essential and connected to the core question theme of perenniality. By marking whether your plant is living or not, you provide a timestamp for each plant and its survival. And this helps us understand if survival is affected by winter or by other factors. For example, we could have plants that survive the winter but experience herbivory or disease later in the spring that kills the plant. By having this timestamp of this observation, we know that it wasn't the winter that killed the plants. We're also able to compare the winter survival rates across the three species that you have in your plot. The timing of this observation is important because we wanna make sure that all the plants have had a chance to come out of winter dormancy. So we'll observe our plot after the last frost date. And that date will vary depending on what region you're in. We'll do this observation one week after the last frost date to ensure that all the plants have come up. And this map of the last frost dates is provided in your field guide. For example, here in Salina, Kansas, the last day of frost is April 15th. So in my case, I would check on my plants, complete this data sheet one week after April 15th, and do my observation on the 21st. I'll start at plant number one, and determine whether it's living or not. If you see three green leaves emerging from your plant, it's living, and you can select yes on your data sheet. If you don't see three green leaves, select no. If you don't have a plant there because a plant didn't germinate or because of herbivory, select no plant. Repeat this process for all 30 of your wheat plants, 20 perennial wheat, five annual wheat, and five intermediate wheat grass and take a photo of your plot. Finally, upload your observations to SITSI via the TLI Civic Science app or on your desktop. And we'll see you next month.